Welcome back, my dark means, to the WTF news, or what the beep? Yes, this is the other hat. This is WTF news gaming, uh, the gaming version. Yes, if you don't know what WTF news is, basically, I might as well give you the full details. Basically, it's where I discuss what's happening in the gaming industry or gaming in general, or what's happening in the anime industry or anime in, uh, in general. What? I decide. I'm starting to think that I should split the g anime and gaming and WTF news and split them apart. Try to put them both. Try to put them both in the same day. Both videos in the same day, but not in the same video. So that way you guys don't get confused and you don't have to like basically just try to click through the video, try to find out where the where my reports are. But like I said, this I'll probably make this the 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 uh, the uh, WTF uh, sorry WTF news. This gaming version, yeah, and if you read the title on the video, of course, we have problems with Anthem if you haven't played it. And but I have to let you know that it's with problems with Anthem, the reviews are not good, and right now the game is not doing so good with get with the sales, and you know what that means since it's with EA, <sighs> yeah. So if you haven't heard. Anthem did not launch as good. It literally launched in a poor state, and it looked pretty good. I have to say, I was actually, if it was actually really good, I was actually gonna play it myself. But man, just looking at the reviews and looking at others use about, it, and it's just not looking good. Sick. I think it was sixty at Metacritic right now. And if I'm wrong, let me uh, let me uh, let me know down in the comments. And it, it's just bad. And yeah, it's like literally pressuring these guys, Bri uh, pressuring Bioware to get the sales up there by making six million units, which is really unreasonable. Especially if you realize that freaking Mass Effect Andromeda. If you remember the the freaking hilarious stuff that was, and that did better than this. And that still didn't make it, and and unfortunately that caused Mont um, Bioware Montreal to be shut down because EA, of course, if it doesn't see any profit, it would just absorb it and spit out the carcass. And I'm really worried about uh, Bioware right now because, like I said, you know how EA is. You know the reputation. If Anthem doesn't do good, look, here's the thing: the game, if you love it. Doesn't mean you, of course, be. I'm happy for you if you love it. If you just keep playing it, if you want, I'm not saying I'm not trying to convince you how bad it is. I'm just reporting of what how what's happening right now. But like I said, if this keeps up, Anthem will literally be uh, will no longer exist, and EA will decide that it's time to absorb Bioware, and that is not what any of us want and I hope EA doesn't do that but how EA is it's really saddening now what's happening right now with Adam is that the gameplay using the main the first mission okay the first three hours of course is pretty good but after that it's just a grind over grind and and it's just repeating missions the missions are good there's even reports that it was actually chopped up and different parts of the story was actually mixed up and supposed to be in different places originally and they changed it so much in over well, was it five or six years this was everything that they could have that they could have came up with which is pretty much what's happening right now and it's just saddening to me that bioware has literally lost its edge and I'm not blaming them, but I am blaming EA for causing this because mainly they're the ones that are pressuring Bioware to freaking do something in this game, and that's just saddening to me. And like I said, I love gaming. I love playing games and seeing this kind of game. And this game really has potential. It looks so good. I just hope by some miracle that this game turns around and doesn't get corrupted. But if he, but if this keeps up, if if it doesn't do well, if EA decides to. This game, Bioware's gonna be gone. And literally, once Bioware's gone, that's about it. And all the assets are gonna be absorbed by EA. And of course, if they do that, you're gonna be, you, his thing. 
I'm gonna be one of the first people that's gonna report on this to spread the word, and it's just gonna ruin. And EA's reputation is gonna go farther. And at this point, if they decide to do this with Bioware, I'm sorry, but I may have to decide that it's time for EA to finally fall. I still don't want it to fall. Heck, my in one of my videos, I said Activision needs to fall because. They're not learning from their mistakes, and if they don't, they deserve to fall. EA is getting to that point as well. I don't want that to happen. I want EA to freaking finally make good games. But if they keep on this path, it's only a matter of time before uh, if something gets if something hits them and knocks them on their butts, and it's going to be only them to blame. They'll probably say that, oh, it's because something like this. Oh, it's not because of this. Oh, it's because we didn't put something like this in the game. And they're trying to, to try to divert attention to make you guys think that it's not because of, it's because of certain games. But here's the thing. Other games are doing well, f way better here. Heck, Apex Legends, that game is doing better here. And that literally has more content in here. Literally, I play it and I enjoy the game. And I do hope that freaking EA doesn't corrupt that because if EA decides to corrupt that game, oh, it's going to be very bad. But right now we're talking about Anthem and like I said, so much has happened with Anthem and if you play the game and you enjoy it, all right. But if, you, but if you're one of the people who are got, gets too bored around and has already done everything and you have nothing left to do, then uh, hopefully you would let... EA know and let everyone know that this is a game that is done in small bursts and not long term. And also have to say that the main re also the main reason is it's because of the ending uh, grind, which is basically four tombs they have to unlock by grinding like different stuff around the map. And this is before the patch, and also before yeah, like I said, before the patch. You couldn't be able to do this in a party. So basically, if you do it in a party, you might as well ha literally make make Anthem your full-time game for the time being. Because in a party, it makes no sense because if you if somebody else gets finishes those uh, quests before you, you will not get the credit. And that's very sad. And it pisses people off. And and the only way... And there's no way for you to, single be, uh, to do single player here. You have to be in a party, which is very, very stressful. And even then, these tombs, people, heck, I thought these were going to be like dungeons. Like, you go in there, you got to go in there. You see all these new enemies in here in these dungeons there to protect these things. But no, it's just a room. You go in, you literally waste so much hours. And you go into the room and you just open the tomb and you basically get writing and I think something else. But that's about it. Nothing worthwhile. Which is sad. But that was before patch. Where you were able. Th where with part in a party. That's you're able to count that. But the tombs. They're still just tombs. Which is saddening. And heck if I play this. Trust me. I would not be able to do this. I would be bored out of my mind. I would be falling asleep in my chair. I'm not joking. I would not be able to take that grind at all. I would literally be almost trying to keep myself awake. And it's just saddening. I was hoping to play this game. But if this game is like this, I don't want to get it. And if you're still on the fence, I really suggest you wait a bit until you until hopefully this does get better. But if not, this is a game you might as well skip and wait for the next game. But like I said, if this keeps up, I really worry for Bioware. EA, please, if this doesn't do well, do not uh, uh, do not destroy Bioware. Let leave them alone to make another game. Make another game that's not multiplayer. At least, come on. Yeah, you need to learn. You can't just keep doing this. But if EA does do this and does destroy Bioware and just spits out the carcass, eats it and spits out the carcass. At that point, I might have to decide that EA doesn't deserve any more chances. If this is what they're going to keep going, then they might as well fall. But, like I said, we'll see what happens. I'll update you guys if anything else happens with Bioware. But hopefully, 
that EA does not eat up Bioware. For now, that's about it. Hope you enjoy it. It's like I said, there's not much right now in the gaming part because, of course, it's mostly about Anthem. Mostly, but uh, mostly there's something happening with Fallout 76. So I'll let you know in the next video if anything's happening. But uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed uh, the gaming version of WTF news. And yeah, let me down know in the comments if this is how you want me to do news reports now for splitting up anime and gaming. And also let me know in the comments if on both my videos and what you think of so the topics on both of those videos are. I'd like to hear your opinions. All right, comment down below and subscribe. Press that little bell next to the uh, subscribe button so you'll be notified. Or just come to my channel every once in a while. See if I'm updated. And share this video. Share both these videos because these things need to spread. All right. My dark means dismissed.